Hey guys, and welcome back to the CFC Perspective. I've got to be honest guys, I'm not the happiest person in the world right now, and I'm quite annoyed that I'm having to make this video, but I've got to get this out to you guys, because all in all, it was a very, very good game. Early in the game, Chelsea controlled, but it's, oh, to be fair, looking at it in hindsight, we deserve to lose the game, but, oh, Okay, so Chelsea versus Valencia, this is what happened. So, early in the game, once again, Chelsea control. James shows why he should be in the starting lineup. What a ball in from him. Willian should be making it 1-0. I don't know how he's not kept the ball down. It's one of the easiest of back post headers you can do, and he's not kept it down. Eight minutes in, Jorginho got a yellow card, and... I'm sorry, please watch that back referee, that's not a yellow card challenge. He didn't put his foot out, the player dived, which, oh, I've had enough of this. Valencia, I don't like the team. How? How do you dive so many times in one game? If you could just watch that game back, please, like, just someone, make a compilation of how many times they dived. It's, oh, it's, oh, it's so annoying. And yes, this leads on to the 11th minute, where... This happened throughout the game, to be fair. Chelsea were very, very clumsy in defending, and it it hurt us. I, I can't lie. We made mistakes, and we got punished for it. And in the first half, Kepa was probably our worst culprit. He was giving the way, ball away for throw-ins. He was giving it away just to anyone. Like, he was just such bad dist distribution, again, from the keeper. I'm. Uh, it just irritates me how i know he's young but for a player worth that much money you really should be doing better and then this led to about the 12th minute we finally got it out and we got a free kick in a pretty good position it was it was just a terrible free kick we should be doing better from there whipping it in maybe because we've got at least a chance from it no terrible terrible kick and it goes straight into the keeper's hands terrible free kick from william who all in all in my opinion had a very bad game so uh, nothing really happened for me in the next 12 minutes. It, the game kind of was dead. Nothing really happened. And then Zuma goes up for a header and headbutt straight. It was it was almost there into the back of Gabriel's head. Zuma, he thought, we thought he had a concussion and Gabriel had to get a uh, tape around his head. And it was... Yeah, it looked a lot worse on the replay, but they were both fine. And after a few minutes, that was all over. That, that's adding to the referees at the time. So let's say about a minute or two, because they were down for a reasonable amount of time. But, yeah. So then this led to the 36th minute, because all that, like, there was three minutes for that. And literally, there was just Chelsea keeping the ball then to make sure Zuma got back onto the pitch. And it was just more clumsy defending, giving the ball away again and again and again. And honestly, I don't know how Valencia scored. Uh, didn't score, I do apologise. Um, Maxi Gomez missed two open goals. This adding to the Willian one, which obviously was on the opposition. But still, that's three should-be goals at this point. And yeah, the game's nil-nil. And then 37 minutes, oh, we think we've done it. Tammy Abraham, he somehow gets a touch on the ball, fizzing into the box. What a touch from the lad. He touches it, top corner, Sillerton, that it was fingertips. Over the bar, I've not seen many saves better than that in the last couple weeks and months. It was a very, very top class save, and that's why he used to play for Barcelona. Minutes after that, Ball into the box from the uh, actually actually it was after that save it was from the goal kick boot it up what a touch from Rodrigo decent ball into the box low cross terrible shot in all honesty Kepa should be doing better one 0 Valencia everyone celebrates the crowd is going wild and then Chelsea they look disappointed and they should be they shouldn't be one 0 down this game because I know Valencia missed chances. But we shouldn't be letting through like that. It was because of the clumsy defending that they got those chances. And we only have ourselves to blame. But then, it was good. We kept our heads high. Kovacic deals with the rebound. Beautiful turn. First goal for Chelsea Football Club. 
Bottom left-hand corner, Sillison couldn't have anything to do with it. The keeper still had a great game, but they, you can't blame the keeper for that one. It was an amazing goal. 1-1. One, one. Uh, 46 minute, just on the brink of half-time. Um, Tammy Abraham went for a header and landed. It looked to be on the opposition, Gabriel, maybe, or Garay his knee or his boots, which meant to him having severe rib problems or something in his abdom abdominal area. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he looked like he was in agony and please be back soon. You're one of our best young talents and we need you. Tammy, if you're watching this, which I know you're not, please, please, we need you, my friend. Half time, it was danger stations for both teams, really. They really needed these three points. And, yeah, it was a good team talk from both sides, I guess, because they both come out and they gave it their all. 47th minute, it was a free kick to Chelsea. Reese James, I don't know why he doesn't take every single free kick for Chelsea and corner. Good delivery, should be getting something on the end of it. And, yeah, we just didn't, really. It was, didn't get enough on it. It led to a corner, which Willian took. Zuma heads it on, rebound. Pulisic puts it through the legs of the keeper. He's offside. Ah, oh, everyone's like, no, it's still 1-1. One, one. Five minutes. Five minutes of VAR. That's added to the three minutes, so we're on about eight minutes right now. And they eventually say yes. Every single angle that you could see, I'm, I'm not complaining, but every single angle that you could see, Pulisic was offside. We didn't deserve to, do, to score two goals tonight. Pulisic was offside and the goal was given because of the 3D technology or whatever because you only count up to his armpit. I don't know what is with VAR anymore. Don't get me started on it. I know it went our way today, but I don't like the thing. I think it should just be out of football. And that's coming a lot considering it went our way and I'm still complaining. 55 minutes in, Kovacic with a sublime touchdown. I don't know how he didn't score more goals tonight. Uh, he just he was probably our best performer on the pitch. He had some decent shots, he had some decent passing, he helped out the defence a lot. Um, and yeah, 57 minutes played, we make another mistake, Rodrigo's through, because Christensen, I, well, I don't know what he's doing, all he has to do is tap it back to Kepa, but no, he slides it into Rodrigo, Rodrigo has an open net, which I believe was their fifth combined easy sitter of the game. Chips the keeper, over the net. All the fans were already celebrating and he missed. It was quite a fun moment for me as a Chelsea fan. But and then minutes later, it goes for a penalty to Rodrigo. Rodrigo is one of the calmest, most cool-headed midfielders in world football. He's at his home stadium. You're thinking he's going to put it away. Kepa's had a terrible game. He, he's going to have to do it. Kepa steps up. One of the best Penalty saves I've ever seen. Top left, he scoops it. Strong hand, everything. It was absolutely amazing. And this just led on more. 65th minute, 67th minute. I don't know how they're missing so many chances. Gamero comes on for Costa because I believe the left back had a injury, which means they had three strikers on the pitch at once, unless I missed the substitution. And then I do apologise. And I was going to title this video, Kepa the Hero. But as you'll uh, hear on later in this video, you'll understand why not. So Mount comes on for Willian. We're thinking, all right, 79th minute, the game's all over. We're defending okay, but we're letting them through silly things and we're getting counter-attacked. Maxi Gomez or Rodrigo, one of the two, lets it. It's outside the box. It's, it's closer to the corner flag than it is to the goal. He crosses the ball in. Daniel Vass, kept a, he does this, he puts his arms down. It hits, off the, it hits off the post and it goes in. It's 2-2 two -two and we might not qualify for the Champions League now. Uh, by that, I mean go through the group. Because I know Valencia have to play Ajax and we have the easiest game of the group. But if uh, if we don't go through because of that, I'm uh, you, uh, it's just so annoying how you can go for... He's just, uh, he's just so inexperienced and uh, I don't get why we paid so much money for him. He just frustrates me so much and how we can have so many, like we can control the game. We can be the best team for so long. And then stupid moment after stupid moment, we get, our oh, we just get punished for it. Against Man City, we had more possession. We had more passes. We had more chances until the 60th minute or whatever, where we dropped off and we lost that game. 
We drew this game, and I know, if you're a Valencia fan, I do apologise because you had a lot better chances than us, but we could have easily held on to that lead, and we decided not to. And it, uh, it just after that, we just crumbled. 88th minute, they were dominating us. Shot after shot after shot. Yes, Kepa caught a few, cro few crosses, but... Jesus Christ, Kepa. It's an easy cross, mate. I know it was easy. It had power and it was very, very precise. But all you have to do is catch a stupid ball. You get paid a lot of money for that. It went to seven minutes added time, which, yes, is ludicrous for an amount of added time. But seven minutes, I could have counted at least 11 or 10 or something like that. We deserve more time. And, yes, if there was more time, we might have conceded a goal. To be honest, that's the way it looked. But... No, that, that had so much controversy and it has annoyed me so much how we managed to draw that game. So just for this, I would like to give you my three best performances and my three worst performances. Starting with the worst, once again. Uh, the third worst performance goes to Rodrigo because he just missed so many chances, like I said earlier on in the video. And yeah, he they could have easily scored four or five. Uh, second worst player would have to go to Parejo because even though he controlled the game for Valencia pretty much, that penalty was not one of the biggest things in Valencia's Champions League season so far. And he's usually cool headed, and I know it was a good save, but that's got to, you've got to, if you miss a penalty, you've got to go into that list in my opinion. So and the worst player is Maxi Gomez because Maxi Gomez I believe missed the worst opportunities. Okay. So now, ending quite a frustrating video on a positive note. So, I would like to give my third best performance to N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante was attacking, he was defensive, he was all over the shop, and you could see him lie down after the game, how much it just took out of him. And fair play, he deserves it. He deserves any of the wages he's on. Hope I've heard he's very happy at the club, which I'm so happy to hear. And yeah, so he gets right in my good books. Third best player, not quite the best, but up there. Second best performance is Silison, the goalkeeper of Valencia, formerly of Barcelona, as you may know. And he also went very far with Netherlands in the World Cup a few years ago, if you want to know that, fun fact. Um, yeah, he had a great performance. I know he let in two goals, but one of them was arguably offside and... The other one, it's not really the keeper's fault. It was a great goal. So, all in all, that three top quality saves he made, he gets right up there. Like, amazing performance and maybe could be considered from some pretty big clubs uh, like Arsenal, considering um, Leno is Bayern Munich's top target. He could bring him in, maybe a cheap, considering Valencia got him on a free. Uh, maybe 20 million, 30 million would be good. And then my best performance would be Mateo Kovacic, the magician in the middle. Jorginho didn't have the best games there. He really had to turn it up. He had a goal. He just was controlling the game. He was getting fancy touches. From a goal kick, he managed to touch it down silky smooth. And he was just everywhere. He was putting in slide challenges. I believe that was Mateo Kovacic's best performance in a Chelsea shirt. And... Hopefully he's here for many years to come. Thank you for watching this video. Any constructive criticism, please put in the comments. Like the video and subscribe. This has been this me, Redford, in the CFC perspective. It's a very, very bad result for Chelsea Football Club because we need to get a win. But I love Chelsea and I love you guys. See you guys in the next video. See ya.